My name is Alex Duda, and I'm back from COVID, and I scaled the restoration company from my dad's garage to over eight figures, and now I'm on a mission to help you grow and scale yours. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a marketing technique that I bet you 90% of you do not use. All right, so starting a restoration company from the ground up, you probably started with some sort of lead generation service like you know, 33 mile radius, home advisor, things like those. You probably found some sort of PPC company or you know, central station marketing or SOS or something like that and ran ads. You probably went through six or seven PPC and SEO experts that said, oh, we're gonna help you be number one on Google or so on and so forth and probably failed. Um, I went through all of those, trust me, I know what it's like. Um, however, there is a digital marketing technique or a marketing technique overall that I believe 10% of restorers probably use, if that. And I'm actually on a mission, I've uh, put together a full class on this topic to help the restoration industry evolve within marketing. Now what am I talking about? I'd say probably about 50% of restorers do some sort of relationship marketing. You know, probably the majority of them go with donuts and some sort of, you know, tchotchke stuff and, you know, stop by an insurance agent's office and, hey, here's some donuts, remember us, right? Here's a pen, remember us, right? And then there's, you know, more sophisticated restorers that actually do relationship marketing properly and they show up to, you know, these agents and plumbers and they bring value to these agents and plumbers and then those agents and plumbers actually refer them. Now, typically when you're talking about route marketing or marketing to these people, you can only market every X amount of time. So maybe every four weeks or three weeks. Now what happens in that period of time of three to four weeks? That's the big question. Now we have this whole digital universe with so much information on prospects, right? We have digital marketing tools that we can use, but nobody uses them. Imagine this. What if you stopped at a plumber's uh, house or office and pitch them the value of them working with your restoration company. And then that plumber ends up seeing an ad on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube about the value that your restoration company brings plumbers. Now let's take another step further into this thought process. What if an insurance agent finds a very valuable piece of information produced by your company? Let's say, you know, how to handle the claims process and it's an ebook and they download that ebook and they give you that information. And that information lands to your salesperson, um, which is your marketer, and your marketer calls that agent up and says, hi, Mr. Jones, how are you doing? You know, um, I see you downloaded that ebook, what'd you think of that ebook? And that specific agent's like, oh my God, I'm so glad you called, I see all this value, that. come on into my office and tell me more about what you do. We successfully implemented these things and I think more restoration contractors need to implement these things because the digital world is huge and there's a lot of value that you can provide through digital marketing. And there's a couple of great books that I recommend for people to actually read to understand more about it. They Ask, You Answer by Marcus Sheridan changed my life completely. And they actually have a sequel called um, I think it's called the video series or the video something, but it's really, really, really good, right? So those, that, that's where I would start. We also have a um, restoration marketing boot camp that we host at Albiware, um, and we talk about all of these things to help restorers, you know, better digital market. Um, you can find more information in the link below, and then this is kind of some footage of, of what we do there. But again, restorers, there are so many tools out there. Don't be technologically lagged. Implement these tools. There are great tools um, with targeting on both LinkedIn and on Facebook. You can write blogs, you can put valuable content out there, and you can attract all of these referring sources, property managers, plumbers, and agents to come to you, as opposed to you going cold and knocking on those doors. I hope this helps. I hope this was of value for you guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out to me. I'm even open to having an hour conversation and kind of showing you what we've done and what we've been successful with. Until next time, thanks so much for visiting Albi After Hours. <laughs>